Hi, my name is Julia, and I'm going to explain to you what are the unique characteristics of a perfect square trinomial. So let's look at the basic form. You have something like a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is the form of a perfect square trinomial. And the reason we pay attention to them is they're, they're so easy to factor. If you can see this form in one of your trinomials, you can immediately factor it to simply a plus b all squared. So it's super easy to factor. Another one that we have is just a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And that factors to a minus b all squared. So again, when you can identify that you have a perfect squared trinomial, it takes you just a second to factor it. Um, let's do some, let's, let's do an example of uh, the first one. If I had something like x squared plus 6x plus 9. Now I look at this and I see that x squared is a perfect square, as is 9. So this serves as my a squared and this is a b squared. So if this is a b squared, that means my b is 3. And when I look at this, I do have 2 times 3 times x. I have 2 times my b and my a. So once you get the hang of this, they're very easy to see. And just and quickly throw that up there. I factor it immediately. Another example uh, would be, let's say we had x squared, um, let's do minus 10x plus 25. Now, this is a perfect square, as is 25. Square root of 25 is 5. Do I have 2 times 5 times x here? I do, but it's negative. So instead of x plus 5, I have x minus 5 squared. So this is a lot easier once you get the hang of identifying these. It's so much easier than looking at this and asking what multiplies to 25 and adds to negative 10. You just you see what it is and you just write it. So what's great about these perfect square trinomials is they're super easy to factor. You just have to get a hang of identifying them. My name is Julia. Thank you.